Martins! Martins, hi! Gina, hi! Hi! <laughs> um, I didn't know the tutorials will happen an hour earlier today. I'm just coming from class and it's over already. Oh yes, I have someone to take on private tutorials today. Oh, okay. Um, there's something I've been meaning to discuss with you. Which is? I like you. I've liked you from the very first day I set my eyes on you. Thank you. So, I want you to be my boyfriend and I, your girlfriend. What are you looking for? The camera crew. What camera crew? This has to be one of those prank shows on TV. <laughs> Come on, Martins. Why would you even think so? Listen, this is not 1998, okay? A girl can ask a guy out. Especially a girl that has a mind of her own, like myself. Let's go. Let's go. Where are we going? Come, let's go. Please tell me you say yes to her. I was shocked. Eh? All I could tell her was that I would think about it. Hey, child, God. She can't pick him with this one. It's bad enough that you waited for her to ask you out first. When I just said the girl only give you green like this, then you not told her to let you think about it. But what is the world turning into? Since when did girls start asking guys out? Apparently, you've not been reading your Bible. Pastor Flex. Oh, yeah, tell me what the Bible says concerning this issue. Look, it's somewhere in the Bible. That in the end times, seven women will stick to one man. Uh, so, in other words, the end time is near. Maybe. But, isn't that enough reason for you and I to start living upright so that we can make heaven? And who says we're not living upright? Uh, you just advised me that I say yes to another girl when you know I have Yuri as my girlfriend. Look, I know me right by below. If the Bible says ratio seven to one, there's nothing you and I can do about it. <laughs> you are just an intelligent crook. I'll take that as a compliment. <laughs> We did. Come on, you well. I sent you a text 30 minutes ago to remind you, and I had to cut short my tutorial class today because of you. I've been sleeping. So, what's up? Are you still coming? No, I'm really tired. Let's do it tomorrow. Well, your test starts in three days, and you don't look prepared to me in any way. I know. I'm really tired, please. No, 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 no. You don't have to come. Don't worry, we'll do it tomorrow. I'm not feeling too well today. Okay. Tomorrow then. Yeah, thank you. Bye. I just need alcohol to relieve me of my stress. I don't have any booze. And even if I did, I don't think I want to give you any. Stop with the attitude. 
I begged you to tell me the other night why you lied about your mo mother being late. But you don't think I deserve to know. Why are you so interested in my personal life? Because I care. Okay. Fine. <clears throat> I was raised by a wayward mother. She exposed me to such a reckless lifestyle. I don't even know my father. I don't think I can forgive my mother for turning me what turning me into what I am. What what did she do to you? <clears throat> Cassandra. Cassandra. Yes, mommy. I'm here. Mm -hmm. Take this list, eh? I need you to run some errands for me. Go to Kingsley's shop. He'll give you some money and some foodstuffs. On your way back, branch at the mall. Everything I have on that list, buy it with the money he's going to give you. What is it with that your face? I don't like going to Kingsley's shop. Really? Mm. My friend, will you be on your way and go and get what I said you should get? No, come and sit down here. Hunger will finish you if you don't go. As if I'm the only one that will eat the food that you're going to bring. Nonsense. Be on my way, my baby. Be on your way, my friend. Nonsense. Open the door and go, Jerry. See her. Mm -mm. Come and sit down here. Let me pull my hair and feed you. Nonsense. Yeah, um, she exposed me to most of her boyfriends and they were molesting me and there was nothing I could do about it. Didn't, didn't you report them to your mother? She said I had to be nice to them. <clears throat> if not, she would stop paying my fees. So I took that to mean that I couldn't complain about anything that he did. Um, how, how bad was the molestation? It was as bad as it gets. <clears throat> I, I lost my virginity to Uncle Henry. And Uncle Kingsley, he raped me separately. I got used to it then. Then I said I sleeping with my mom's boyfriend. Did your mom know that you were seeing her boyfriend? She didn't care. Not one bit. As long as they were taking care of her financial needs. Are you sure she's a biological mother? I ask myself that every single day. I don't know. I'm sorry. So, how are you preparing for your tests and exams? How else is there to prepare than to study? Hmm? Fine girl like you wants to be wasting her brain to study. I don't understand what that means. When you can use this, your beauty, to get yourself one ethical boyfriend that will be doing all your tests, exams, and assignments for you. Are you being serious right now? I have a godmother in 300 level. Yes. And she told me that's the only way to pass exams in this school without any hassle. And then she taught me how to go about it very well. You have the wrong person for a godmother. 
And I doubt it is possible for someone to impersonate during exams and not get caught. You can't argue with results. She said that's the only way she's been able to pass her exams, right from her 100 level. And you think that's right? It's an ancient survival strategy. Sex appeal is one of God's gifts weapon to women. This is so wrong on so many levels, Gina. Okay, just stay there and be dulling yourself and wasting your beauty. You hear? You be the man, you be always for me. Ain't I can lie, you be always stand me. You was into me, my dream for Pina. You been always with us as a secret. I didn't know that innocent looking Gina is such a crazy girl. See, imagine her telling me to get an ethical boyfriend who helped me write my test and exams. Is that possible? Well, she has one godmother in 300 level that claims it is possible. Sounds interesting. Why is anyone in school if they cannot read and write their exams? Not everyone has the same brain, you know. No one is born a genius. I think everyone has the ability to excel academically if they put in adequate effort. Well, I'm off to go see my things. Okay. See Later. you. All right. I'll just, you know, finish up and join me. She doesn't say anything. Are you sure you don't want to join me? This noodles is sweet. Thanks, I'm fine. Okay, just give me one minute, okay? As soon as I'm done eating, we'll start the tutorials. Mm, so, why don't you talk about a plan B? What plan B? Plan B on how to pass my difficult course. But we talked about this before now, are you real? I'm not talking about bribing any lecturer. Mm, okay, so what other plan B are you talking about? Someone told Nancy that it's possible to help someone write their test and exam without getting caught. Why are you doing this to yourself? I'm accepting my reality. Besides, my parents want me to come out with good grades. And you think they'll be proud of you if you get expelled for hiring someone to impersonate? See, it's possible for you to do that without getting caught. I'll ask Nancy's friend, but I need your help, Martins. That was my own. I was hoping if you could help me sit for my test and exam. Over my dead body. Who is it? I'm coming. Oh. Hi, Gina. What's up, no, Nancy? I'm big. Can I borrow your accounting textbook? Are you kidding me? Accounting test is tomorrow. What am I supposed to read for the test? But I'm not taking any notes from me now. I just need it here for like 20 to 30 minutes. Okay. Ah. Just get it. Thank you. <laughs> I'm sorry if I'm asking for too much. For as long as you continue to think that there's a shortcut to studying and passing, hmm? your brain will never be open to the things I'm going to teach you. I'm scared of failing my things. Look, fear is good, okay? But you need to learn how to convert it to positive motivation. You should know by now that I'm trying to do things on my own, but it's not working. My brain is blank. And my first mathematics uh, test, related test, is next tomorrow. I will not be a party to impersonation or any form of exam or practice. Okay then. I have to start going, since there's nothing for me to do. You be the man that they always for me. Ain't I can lie, you they always stand me. And you was into me, my dream for Pina.
What are you doing, Gina? Hmm? Oh, I'm almost done. I'll give you a note back soon. Is that what I think it is? Chips? Ah, Nancy, this is the only option I have for now. Since I'm here to find myself a net boyfriend that is willing to write the test for me. But you know what? Very soon I'll get one before the exams. See this girl, oh. What if you get caught? Hmm? Them they catch breeze. I beg you. Don't worry, I know how to do this. Mm -hmm. Hi, Gina. Hi, Uriel. What's up? I'm fine. Uriel? Gina is preparing chips for tomorrow's test. That's what she's doing. Take. No, take microphone. Or do you need a megaphone so that the whole street can hear you? Calm down, Joe. Uriel is my friend. She's my family. <laughs> Let me check what I'm cooking. Gina, is it true that you know how someone can impersonate for test and exams without getting caught? Mm hmm Sure. My godmother taught me. But first, one has to have like a willing machinery. And that is what me I'm yet to find. So how does that work? Yura, this one you're asking. Does someone want to sit for you? No, actually, but I'm still looking. <laughs> so don't you want to try the chips method? No, <laughs> I don't have the courage. Besides, the method won't work for my math problem. Ah. Okay, you know what? Just give me some time. Let me finish up with Nancy's note. Where are you even coming from? So much, Jerry. This thing is hard. I have to do it. What can I do? Wait, so she broke up with you because of that? I don't know. She walked out on me. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, so what if she insists that? Is it that you help her or the relationship is over? Ah, but that would be selfish and unfair of her. Because we both could get into trouble if I get caught. Well, if getting caught is the problem, I know a step-by-step -step plan that will ensure that doesn't happen. Even you? Look, I'm only trying to help here. I know a lot of people who have been using machinery from their first year, and they're about to graduate. Mm, of course. Why won't you know those kind of people? Birds of the same feather flock together. Bless you, you want chop slap, Abby. You did, Chris. I was on my own when you brought you and your useless girlfriend's matter to me. But I can't do what she's asking now. Eh? That would make her mentally lazy. Forget the girl, then. How can I forget her when I love her? Look, guy, what do you want me to say? I say chop him, you say it in a bone. Chop him, you say small me inside. Don't worry me, oh. Stop confusing yourself. Hey, love girl! Matrix is here to see you! <laughs> what does he want? Uh -uh. Is there trouble in paradise already? What paradise? Please go tell him I don't want to see him. Did you guys have a fight? I just don't want to see him. Me already told him you're homo. That guy is such a good person. He's been helping you study. What could he have possibly done wrong? Eh? Uriel? Excuse. Uriel? Uriel! How can I help you? I've been calling your phone. I've been busy looking for someone who's going to help me with my test. I was worried we could both be in trouble if I get caught helping you write your test and exams. Yeah, you already said you're not going to help me. So why call me and put it to my face? I was able to speak with my roommate Flex about it. And he was able to convince me that if we are being careful enough, we would get away with it. So you're going to help me? Well, as, as it stands, I don't have a choice. Thank you, babe! That was fast. What was? You looked so happy to see him for someone who wanted me to come tell him you're no home. <laughs> Welcome. You can sit. Come have a sit.
It's fine. It's the first time you've come to me for a long time. Yeah, I've just been low on cash because I'm trying to reduce my reckless lifestyle. I've been turning down a lot of clients. That's good. <laughs> but I have a feeling that it's just a matter of time before I go back to sleeping with men for money. Look, Cassie, you don't have to go back to that kind of lifestyle. Shouldn't you be worried? I mean, one of your girls you pimp out is trying to change. That's bad business for you. I'm happy that you want to change. Okay, like I've always told you, I really do care about you. You know, you always say this, but I'm yet to make out a meaning to it. You know a lot about my reckless lifestyle. How can you care about me? Look, we've all had to do something we're not proud of for survival. I'm not in any position to judge you. Don't you have tests to write today? I do. So why are you not ready for us to go to school? Don't worry, you can go. I'll meet you up. Okay, good luck with your test. Yeah, don't wait for me. Same. I love you like crazy. Even if you know get Bugatti. I can you go see Pop Send that to me now. Send it to me now. Send it to me now. Who's that? Don't pick four. They just don't answer it. Better still, reject the call. Who's don't pick four? Reject the call, please. Who is don't pick four? It's my mom. Ugh. She's been calling me with different numbers. And I don't want to talk to her. As soon as I just hear her voice, I cut the call and I save as don't pick. I've saved don't pick one to four now. Don't you think you should talk to her? And say what? Hear what she has to say at least. Well, I don't want her in my life. She's your mother. Oh, she's my mother. Let me tell you something. She gave birth to me. But it takes a lot to earn the title of motherhood. So please, just... Really? Yes, really. Calling you back. And I will reject it. <sighs> oh, girl, that test was sweet. If all my tests and exams turns out like this, I'm on a first class, so. Mm. Yes, because you were lucky to have not been caught with chips. Uh, why Every day for the thief, one day for the owner. Why are you they swear me now? I mean, I'm not swearing for you, just advising you. I beg, I beg, I beg, keep your advice to yourself. I don't need it. The end justifies the means. Okay. So are you going to call Uriel or going home to meet her? Let me even find out where she is. I'm in school, in class, for my test. We're about to start. You guys haven't started? Not yet. But I saw your course mates and they said you finished. Uh, okay, I'll call you later. The lecturer is here. Bye. <sighs> Did I just hear you say you're in school and about to write your test? Are you eavesdropping on my conversation? 
Why aren't you in school about to write your test? Martins, I heard they finished. Yeah, I just go back to my hostel now. Hope you weren't caught. <laughs> I won't be in my hostel if I was caught. Okay, so how was it? Very easy. I even thought you would have been able to do it yourself. It was easy because it's you. Thank you so much, Martins. You're a darling. Hi. Okay, bye. Mm -hmm. uh, 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 I'm so happy. Good, thank you. Here's this one now. Oh. Hi, Lawrence. Hi, what happened? You weren't in class today for the test. Who told you I wasn't in class today? But I didn't see you. I mean, that's the reason why I came over. Okay, I was in class, but we finished early, so I had to run back home because I was having a running stomach. You were? Mm, yes. Oh, but I could have sworn I didn't see you. All right. Where did you sit? Um, at the back side, almost by the window. But that was exactly where I sat, but I didn't see you. <laughs> I meant to say the middle towards the back, almost by the window side. Hmm. <laughs> anyway, tell me, how did you find the test? Were you able to answer all the questions? Before Uncle. Ah. Uh, the questions uh, uh. were easy now. Efiko? <laughs> hey. Mm -hmm. So you answered all the questions. Mm -hmm. You know what? We really need to go over this question because I didn't find it easy at all. <laughs> Ouch! My stomach. Ah. What's wrong? Please stand up, stand up, stand up, stand up. I need to take a medication. I need to sleep. Are you okay? I will call you later. Please, please. Are you sure you don't need my help? I'm okay. Please, just For real? go. Please. Ah. <laughs> Oh, don't worry, don't worry. This one? You real. Jesus. What? Why are you being everywhere? Are you a witch? I can't walk that distance so If you don't see her in the next 10 minutes, we will leave. Gina, how far now? Buy me snacks. Eh? You switch money? Uh-uh. You can buy it. Oh, wow. As you find like this. Hi, ladies. How are you guys doing? We are fine. Hey, um, would you like me to get you something? Maybe snacks or whatever it is you want. <laughs> I'm, I'm actually talking to you. If you're talking to me and I'm not answering, that means I want you to leave me alone. <laughs> you don't know who you're talking to, do you? Are you the vice chancellor of the school? Nancy. Stop what? He's disturbing me. <laughs> you know, I, I was just, uh, I was just trying to be nice. You know. Mm. Thank you, Mr. Nice Guy. I can buy my own snacks. Gina, let's go. We don't have to wait for you. Ever. Excuse me. Sorry about that. No, it's, <laughs> it's, it's fine. It's.
Whoa, <laughs> once this shall never end. Is that there was no need for you to be rude to that guy like that. Mm. Seriously. Really? He stinks of alcohol, marijuana, and cigarettes. I couldn't stand this stench. Yes. Ah, but I perceived it too now. I just didn't say anything because Bayou is a very, very troublesome person. You know his name? Well, of course. Who doesn't know Bayou? His real name is Bayou, but everybody calls him Bayou. He's mm. very, very popular on campus, and my godmother warned me about him. That what? That I should try as much as possible to avoid him. <laughs> Since I gained admission into this school, there's hardly a day that passes by that one guy doesn't try to woo me. I wasn't just in the mood to tolerate their nonsense today. <laughs> <laughs> See this one? Who said you make you over fine now? <laughs> oh, God. Hi, girls. Ah, ah. You real? See who we're waiting for in school? Can you imagine? When did you get back? Yeah, I got home immediately after I finished my test. Why didn't you call me when you finished? I'm sorry, I didn't know you were waiting for me. Mm. Hmm. I'm sorry. Thank mm. you. Mm. You know we have a test today, right? So, they'll bring your question papers for you here. But why are you not getting dressed? I have to conclude this um, online meeting first. Don't you think it's high time you gave up on trying to be an internet fraud star? Basket mouth. Not the leak again, Abby. No, no, of course, since you've been trying, it's not been successful. If I really get out of here and let me concentrate. I'm suspecting you have a missionary in that hall that wants to help you, right? That's why you're this relaxed. Uh -huh. How did you get again without your, your helping your chick the other day with her test? It was smooth. She even has another one tomorrow that she's expecting a right for her. <laughs> okay, I hope uh, this time she gives you the right type of um, appreciation. I mean, I can't ask her for payment too. She's my girlfriend now. Of course it's wrong to ask for financial payment, but uh, it's only fair, you know, that she comes to spend the night or two just to say, you know, thank you. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Later. That's a B. Hi. Hi. Juma. Small champion to move on. Okay, ma. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> oh, is it? Good yeah. girl. Uh, we meet again. Hey. Come on. I'm talking to you. Hey, chill out. <laughs> Don't put your hand on me. <laughs> Do you live around here? That's none of your business. See, are you always like this always? Is it that time of the month? You must be very stupid for that statement. <laughs> See, I don't like you, and I don't want to be your friend. I don't think you know who you are dealing with, do you? Stop saying that as if you have your name among the list of billionaires in Forbes magazine. <laughs> Wait, what's your name? I mean, I'd like to... What's your name? Don't you wish? Hey, I, I, I'm still talking to you, okay? What's up, Hira? Are you just coming from school? Yeah, I had uh, lectures and tests to write. How was your test? Easy. <laughs> I should have known. Tests and exams are a piece of cake for you. Nah, I'm not doing anything extraordinary. There are lots of students who are better than I am academically. Maybe, 
But I don't care about them because they are no use to me like you are. What time is your statistics test tomorrow? 1 p.m. Yeah. I'll take care of it. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm talking about? You're a darling. What can I do without you? Uh, I was wondering if you could come spend some time with me at the hostel when mid semester tests are over. Sure. You have no problem. I mean, I visit, don't I? It's not that type of visitation I'm talking about, though. What kind are you talking about? I mean, you coming over to spend the night or, say, spend the weekend. Muffins! Leave me alone! Leave me! Hey! Wait, is this how you go about grabbing every girl that doesn't want to be your friend? Give me a look. Tell me your name, then I'll let you go. You will let me go? Yes. As if you own me? See, take your stinking marijuana self out of my way. Uh, hey. You work Sakara too much, self. What did you just do? Eh? Uh, the form I say be Voltron, what do you want to do? Madam, do you have Benson there? Oh. I can't believe this, Martins. How dare you? What are you angry about? You asked me to come spend the night at your place just because I asked you to help me write my test. Calm down now. What will you then do if you help me write my exams? It's not what you're thinking, you real. All I wanted was to spend time with you. How are you then different from Mr. Zack, the lecturer that slept with Cassandra? That's an unfair comparison, you real. You asked me not to bribe any lecturer because they would try to take advantage of me. Now here you are, trying to do the same exact thing. You are letting your imaginations run too wild. Uh, it's just quality time I wanted with you. Get out. What? You heard me! Get out! Shouting at someone, who were you shouting at? Nobody. Uh -uh. Nobody. If you were shouting at nobody, don't you think you're going crazy? Can you just fix your call and leave me alone? Rubbish! Ah. What do you mean? Oh. Oh. Everywhere. Uh -uh. Guys, what's going on? Is today World Angry Day? What's this one saying? What's wrong, Nancy? There's this riffraff called by you that tried to make friends with Gina and I on campus the other day. And I made it clear to him that I don't want a ruffian like him as a friend. I saw him on my way back from the store and he had the guts, he had the nerves to slap my butt! Was he high or something? Maybe, but I had to cure his madness or highness with a very hot slap. Good for him. Wait, did you say his name is Bayou? Yes. <laughs> For your own good, I sincerely hope it's not the Bayou I'm thinking about. What if he's the one? Then your friend is in a lot of trouble. More than you both can comprehend. Can you imagine? I don't even talk to him. He had the F on to slap my butt. Oh, oh, Keep oh, your drink oh. to yourself. I shouldn't have listened to your advice. You made me look like a fool. What did she say? She was angry that I wanted to take advantage of her. I thought you said she was a girlfriend. She is. So what's the big deal asking your girlfriend to come and pass the night? She said I wasn't any different from Mr. Zach who slept with Cassandra. Yeah, she told me to get out. <laughs> See the problem when you decide to date an infant? Jambito. 
You would have to go and see her. For what? Uh, you tell her now that you were the one that gave me the bad advice. Bless you, swallow grenade, Abi. You want your rocket to fall on your head. should have handled it better. Ah. Wait. Who is this bio guy you guys are so scared of? See, let me tell you something. There are some guys you should just stay away from. Don't even have any issues with them for your peace and sanity. And Bayou is one of them. He's a court member or what? Nobody knows. But he's a rugged guy that even court members are afraid of. Mm -hmm. I even hear some lecturers know to stay away from him because of how ruthless he can be. I'll just report him to the school authority if he tries anything stupid. Ah. <laughs> you think it's that straightforward and simple, Abby? <laughs> Unpleasant things will just begin to happen to you one after the other and nobody will be able to trace it to him. Yes. <laughs> Unpleasant things like what? <laughs> Nancy, I me, mean, I'm leaving, eh? It's so unsafe to be anywhere around you at this time. Please. Thank you. You want to hear my advice? Mm -hmm. I think you should go home for now. Go home? When school is in the middle of mid-semester test? Okay. Gina. What's up, Martins? I'm good. How are you doing? Good. Quite a surprise. Um, yes, I came to see a friend just three houses away, so I decided to come see my boyfriend. Your boyfriend? <laughs> Martins, listen. I know I'm, I'm in our relationship alone for now, but I don't know why it's taking you so long for you to see how much I really like you. I appreciate your likeness, Gina. And honestly, it is very bold of you to express your feelings. But I have a girlfriend. I don't mind. What? I really do not mind, Martins. Listen. All I want is a relationship. It's all about understanding. I don't know what to say. Listen, it's okay for you not to know what to say, okay? I'll give you some more time. Just think about it. Please. <laughs> uh, see you around. <laughs> Bye. Someone stole my bag in class today and my phone was inside. How did that happen? I don't know. I don't know. The, the, the bag was beside me in class and then I just looked away for a second then boom, it was gone. At first I thought it was my, you know, colleagues playing pranks with me until I asked them and they said they didn't take it. So the bag grew wins and flew away? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. The, the annoying part is my ATM cards were in the bag. Okay. Say, Nancy, chill, okay? Relax. I need to get to somewhere quickly. I'll see you soon when I get back. Peace. My okay? Relax. I can't relax. Can't, don't you get it? My bag and my phone! My cards! We'll talk about that when I get back. Please. What am I gonna do? <laughs>
Hi. I am here to give you the opportunity to apologize. Uriel, you misunderstood me the other day. Did I? Look, I have girls throwing themselves at me. <laughs> One even asked that I be her boyfriend, but I declined because I love you. I'm not lying. I'm here for an apology, not you telling me how girls throw themselves at you. Well, if I won't get that, I can leave. Wait. Just because I asked you to come spend the night, doesn't mean I want sex from you. Anyways, sorry. Apology accepted. So, what's up with my statistics test tomorrow? I'll handle it. Really? Mm -hmm. mm, thank you. behind me, Gina. How can you say you don't know who took my bag? Um, I didn't get the memo that I am now your PA that would always keep an eyes on your bag. That's what friends do for each other. I wasn't paying attention. Well, at least now you know to be careful next time. Please get me your business management note. Let me prepare my chips for tomorrow. The note was in the bag that was stolen. Are you serious? <sighs> hey. Jesus. So where do I get a note to use and prepare my chips for tomorrow's test now? It's like your brain is spinning you. Didn't you hear what I said? You were at the house earlier. Okay, she finally decided that she was wrong and she came to apologize. Mm, something like that. Are you trying to do something like that? She actually came to give me the chance to apologize, which I did. <laughs> and it was when she came in um, for the sleepover. Guy, that request got her very angry. There's no way I'm going to ask her for that anymore. Besides, it's not even conducive for her to come sleep over when you're around. That's not a problem now. I can always go hang with my friend and give you guys some privacy. That won't be necessary. Are you still writing her test for her? Mm, there's one tomorrow she expects me to help her write. <laughs> no wonder. No wonder she came to make peace. I just hope that girl is not using your head. If only this ethical guy I'm working on luring into a relationship with me has agreed. Eh? I will not be needing all this wahala of chips rights. You're working on a guy? Yes, now. One ethical guy like that is for me hard to get. But I'm sure very soon he will bite down before exam starts. But you seem to be very good at this chips method. Why not use it for your exams? No. <laughs> exams are a different ball game. See? The safest method is to find yourself a willing machinery that will be willing to sit for you. And then, he will just pretend he's writing a carova course. That's all. Well, I agree. So, um, how are you coping with your test? My dear, just fine. Mm. Okay. One second. <laughs> By you. Mm -hmm. What are you what are you doing here? I'm looking for someone. Her name is Nancy. Nancy, um, she's not home right now. I was just coming from her department and she was not there. Uh, maybe she's on her way home. Oh, okay then. I'll sit and wait for her.
You rare. What are you doing here when a test is about to start in your class? Are you not in my department? No, but I passed your department and you were about to write a test. I have finished. I don't understand. What is there not to understand? I said I have finished. I finished before everybody and I submitted my answer sheet. You real. You have finished a test that is about to start. Because your brain is better than Albert Einstein or what? Why are you hustling me? I said I have finished now. What uh -uh. sort of a dumb lie is that? Wait, wait, wait a minute. You real. Is someone writing the test for you? Shh. Bring the words down now. <laughs> hey, are you serious? Bad best girl ever leave it. Words down now. You real. Hey, <laughs> bad best girl ever leave it. Chop knuckle, chop knuckle. Chop knuckle now. Why did they hang my hand? See this one. Hey. <laughs> um, if I may ask, why are you looking for Nancy? She slapped me, and I've come to ask her why. I know she's really sorry about that. And she did it because she didn't know who you are. Oh, yeah? See, yeah, that's why I've come to tell her why I am. So, what, what are you going to do to her? Is she your friend? Um, if she's my friend, will you forgive her? You see, I'm asking just to know if you would uh, partake in the punishment. No. Friends? We are not friends at all. You see, we're just roommates. Um, just excuse me one second, please. You're a sharp girl. But you should have carried me along now. See, it's not exactly something I'm happy about. I just had to do because I have no choice. Hmm. I hear you. See, let this thing remain between us. So. Hello? Hello? Um, where is Nancy? Um, she's in the class. Yeah, I think she's in the class. Okay. Just tell her not to come home yet, okay? Bayou is waiting for her. Who? So he came to make trouble? No, at all. He came to give her a gift to say thank you for the slap. Oh, these children, I don't know how you guys think. Bye bye. Who was that? Cassandra. She said by you is in the house looking for Nancy. Are you serious? Yes, no. Please, let's go and get Nancy. Let's go and get her. on her behalf? Uh, of course you can go ahead and do that. But that doesn't mean that I will accept it. Please, no. See, see let me tell you something. I, I'm not going to hurt her that much. You know, just to teach her a lesson that she will never forget. That's all. You see, I'll go for now, but tell her that when I see her, she'll lose more than her phone and handbag. Okay? I know where I live. He has eyes and ears everywhere. You know, I personally think that he's responsible for your missing bag. What? Yes. He even said you'll lose way more than a bag and phone if he gets a hold of you. So what am I supposed to do? Run away or what? I already told you to go home and lay low. That is not an option. I can't miss me to mess that test. <laughs> Babe, you don't enter Wahala. Why are you guys blaming me as if I just walked up to him and then slapped him over nothing? You need to find a way to appease Bayou. 
before he finds you. Did you just say a piece? I don't owe him any apology. Well, your other option is to get someone with higher powers on campus. That way they will help you put Bayou in place. Of course. You did what? You slapped Bayou. He slapped my butt. Why would you raise your hand on a guy like Bayou? He slapped my butt! You know the surface! He slapped my butt! And you would have just ignored him now. Are you guys deaf? I said he slapped me on my buttocks! Why is no one saying anything about that? Sorry about that. I know you feel violated. But that guy is a very dangerous guy. See, Flex, I came to meet you because my friend said I can get someone with higher influence who can help me put that Bayou guy in his place. So, are you going to help me or should I just call my parents? Call them, oh! Call, see, go ahead, call your father. If your father is a general in the army, tell him to send you soldiers today, eh? That will be able to guide you everywhere you go from henceforth. Are you hearing me? Slap B. We a B. Bloody jamba, you want to die in this school? So you can't help me. You give me that cucumber, the way you really light to me on fire. You give me that cucumber, dance you do do the Al Qaeda. You give me that cucumber, the way you really light to me on fire. You give me that Lawrence. Hi, Oriel. Hi. Well, I. Brought you some things. You bought me food stuff. Well, it's not like I bought it. The thing is, my mom sent someone over with more than enough food stuffs. But I didn't want my roommates to waste it as usual, so I decided to bring some for you. Mm -hmm. That's so thoughtful of you. Thanks. You're welcome. And I was also thinking, um, maybe we could go out and. Um, Grab some ice cream and probably catch a movie. When? Like right now. I mean, that's if it's convenient for you. Of course it's convenient for me. Give me a minute. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Listen, Flex, you have to help Nati out of this mess. You and I know Bayou will hurt her. Look, I don't want to have anything to do with that Bayou guy. Nobody wants to have anything to do with him, but we just, we just have to help. You guys are friends, right? We're not friends, though. Look, he knows me, I know him. He's not my friend. But you guys talk. Come on now. I'll give it a shot. Thank you. Um, I have to go now. I have a fellowship to catch. <laughs> What? Fellowship. Is that the name of a new hangout spot? Mm, you can call it that. You're not talking about a Christian fellowship, are yes, you? Yes, I am talking about a Christian fellowship. Why are you sounding like I'm some devil from hell? I go to church, okay? Which time? Since when? I'll see you later. <laughs> Okay, then. So she touched you to sing song. Hello? Hi, Martins. Hi, Uriel. You are yet to give me your calculus syllabus and the areas you've covered. What do you need those for? I, I need to know the areas to concentrate on. Did your lecturer give you AOC? What's AOC? That's area of concentration. No, didn't give us that. I need to know what to expect and, and the, the materials you have for the course. Um, I'll get that to you tomorrow. Why not today? Because I'm busy. What are you busy with now? The test is on Wednesday. I need to know what to expect. I will get it to you tomorrow. Besides, I trust your brain, Martins. You will deliver even if I get it to you on Wednesday morning. Thanks for the vote of confidence, but it doesn't work like that. 
I'll see you tomorrow, Martins. Bye. <laughs> Hi, Gina. What's up? Yeah, I'm okay. Where are the girls? Uh, I'm not too sure what they are around, but Uriel is inside. She's getting ready because we are going out. Really? Where are you guys going? We're just trying to go grab some ice cream and probably catch a movie. Sounds like fun. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ready. Oh, here you are. Hi, Gina. What's up? Where's Nancy? Oh, she's not around, although she'll be back soon. Oh, okay. But... Come on, let's go. Okay. Hold on. You guys are going out. Can I join you? Do you know where we are going to? Uh, Lawrence told me already now. Auntie, three is a crowd. Sit down there and wait for Nancy. <laughs> okay, whatever. All right, yeah. <laughs> Bye. Yeah, I know what I'm now. Don't worry, I will treat you for the way you now sleep, though. Now. But you're fine. Yeah, I'm fine. Let me call you back. Yeah, bro. Hey, brotherly, <clears throat> what's up now? I'm a bamo. Yeah, bro. Yeah, correct guy. I did everything nice. Um, I'm here to discuss an issue with you. Oh, yeah? Uh, let's, let's hear it now. Boss my head. It's about a girl named uh, Nancy. She says she slapped you some days ago. <laughs> Crazy how bad news flies. Huh? But, you know, bro, I, I appreciate the, the, the love and everything, you know. Um, I appreciate that. Why? I don't need your help. I will take care of it myself. Anyways, actually, I'm not, um, I'm not here to, you know, lend the help to treat her mess up. Look, the thing is, she's my girl. All right, and um, <coughs> oh, I'm only here to plead with you to forgive her. So, so wait, so this is the reason this girl thinks that she can go about the campus and, and be slapping men? Not be so... Look, she just let her emotions get the better part of her. But she's deeply sorry now. <laughs> sorry, that story for another day. She's not sorry yet, bro. I'm telling you, she's not sorry yet. She's not. <laughs> By the time I'm done with her, by the time I, I'm done teaching her a lesson, then she'll be sorry. I know no one can stop me, not even you, bro. I'm sorry. Look, I know I can't stop you by you. That's why I'm here to plead with you to tamper justice with mercy. See, that, that gay cannot go unpunished. Never. Oh, yeah. What do you want? Uh, now you did talk now. Uh, tell her, make she bring 50k now, and she's got just one week to do that. Without you now, by you. Sure. Or you have left 20. Flex. I found out now. I've been a pepper. I've been a magu with the price for you. And we couldn't cost that one. I couldn't insult me for you. Baba, don't let me change that. You know, see now my guy. So my old like, I don't hear what you talk. Uh -huh. You all comport yourself. All right, don't worry, I'll do in touch. No vest now. Yeah, uh -huh. see that level. Fifty thousand naira for what? Look, I tried to negotiate it down. He refused. See, I am not going to give him a dime. He stole my phone already. We're not sure that was him. He was the one. And Nancy, we have to raise this money. That's the easiest way out of this. I have a better idea. How about you tell him to come slap me back and I smack his butt? My friend, don't be ridiculous. See, I don't have that kind of money to throw away. I don't. Nancy, how much do you have? Nothing. Zero naira. See, 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 Nancy, you better stop being stubborn. How's this issue with Hey, just shut up and face the ass for your copy in Jejeli, please. Sorry. Oh. Okay, I have 10k to spare. Cassandra. You want to help me with the money? Yes. That's the only way out. If not, this thing will get out of hand. 
I can spare 10k too. Hmm. Okay, I can do 5k. I guess I'll just raise 5k. Great. Yeah. What? Auntie, how much are you willing to support a friend with to pay off her debt? Ha! <laughs> now, wow. Times are really hard now. Eh? So, but... Me, I can spare one Keisha. Huh? Gina? Who be this one? Hey! It's better than that. Hey, you really, really surprised me today, Cassandra. <laughs> Why? How? What's up? I never thought you would want to help me like that with the money. Oh, come on. I just wanted us to sort out the problem as soon as possible. I don't want buy you coming here for any reason. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, yeah, so how are you going to raise the remaining money? I'll figure it out somehow. Okay. Yeah. Thanks. I love you like crazy. Even if you know get Bugatti. I can't even go see Popsy. Oh, la, la, la. I'm loving the way that you do your things, eh? The way that you work in my body. Say, you give me that cucumber. The way you really like to me. You give me that cucumber. Go dance you do, 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 do. I'm telling you, Lawrence, the guy is demanding that we pay him 50,000 there. Wow. This sounds kind of serious. So, um, what's Nancy doing about it? Cassandra and Flex said that we should just look away and pay him. And we've been able to contribute 31,000. It's mainly 19,000, which we don't know where to get it from. 19K, right? Yes. <laughs> All right. What are you doing? <laughs> okay, uh, that's my own contribution to the course. Please don't do it. Take it. Look, I get more than this. I mean, I get more than enough money for my father, for my uncles, my cousins, my mother, even my brothers. They credit my account all the time. Are you sure about this? I'm very positive. And you say she's your friend, right? So whatever concerns her, concerns me. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, so, um, what are you going to drink? Mm, where is the waiter? Waiter! Hey. Mm. Oh, I always give you this. Yes. I was surprised too. I've always known he's from a well-to-do family, but his generosity is mind-blowing. Mm, I didn't know you two were that close. <laughs> well, I didn't tell you asked me out the other time and I said yes. Are you joking? No. That was when we went to see a movie together. Mm. So, what about Martins? What about him? Isn't he your boyfriend too? <laughs> I thought I told you I don't... I'm not feeling him. I just like his brain. Does he know that? Um, I'll find a way to tell him. Anyway, thank you for this. I really, 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 really do appreciate it. Welcome. Thank you. Ah, finally. <laughs> Don't worry. Are you off or not? I did. <coughs> off. Oh, That's the 50 grand you asked for. You must really like this girl, right? Are we good? Yeah, sure, sure, sure. My guy! I hear you, right down. That's the good one. Correct. This one. I'm sober. 
Hello, you are. Hi. I'm okay. You didn't even bother to call to find out how the test I helped you write went. I don't need to do that now. I know you have everything under control. Court C demands that you show some concern, at least. It's not exactly an easy task like I make it look. I know. Okay, don't worry. I'll come see you later tonight. Okay? Taking those food stuff too. Oh, I want to give them to Martins. Why? Lawrence brought them for us. Why are you taking them to Martins? He's been helping me write my test, so I need to show some appreciation. He's been helping you do what? Oops, uh, I shouldn't have said that. Oh, now I understand what is going on. So Martins is the academic boyfriend while Lawrence is the real deal? Yes. No wonder there are so many graduates out there who cannot defend their qualification. And what do you mean by that? Nothing. Hello, ladies. What the heck are you doing here? Nancy! Are you high? What brings you here? You know, I can see you are naturally arrogant and rude. You can't even help yourself. Look, you can't come here and talk to me anyhow after paying you. Nancy! What do you want from us by you? Flex paid you, right? Didn't he? You see, I don't have any business with you or Cassandra. I have business with Nancy. You and I, we have no business whatsoever. You know what? Ignore her. How about we talk? What's the problem? Okay. You see, I've given this whole thing a deep thought. And I realized that 50,000 Naira is not enough for the disrespectfulness that she brought to me. You must be mad. Nancy, shut up! Just, just ignore her. Mm -hmm. um, what, can, what can we do? Okay, let's make this easy. A 100,000 Naira more. Huh? Yes, 100,000 Naira more. You give me that kukumba, I'll dance you do 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 Al-Qaeda. You give me that kukumba, the way you did like to me, fire. You give me that kukumba, I'll dance you do 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 Hi, Gina. Hey, You should try to call me next time before you come over. Yes, I actually tried calling, but it won't connect. Maybe it's network. I guess so too. So I'm here for you to help me with an assignment. Okay, let's see. Mm, I think it's that wrong, but this is... Okay, let's see. Okay. Uh... I should have known agreeing to his blackmail the first time was a bad idea. I can't believe he's even asking for more money. Listen, we just cannot give in to him again. He'll just keep coming back for more. I think we should just go back to my very first suggestion, reporting him to the school authorities. I insist that's a bad idea. 
All right, you only be drawing a battle line with him, and you don't want that. Mm -hmm. So I should let him turn me into his cash cow? Let me tell you something. The school authorities will only caution by you. But then he will send his gang members and make your life miserable. Is that what you want? No. Um, I'll just report this to my parents. They will take it to the school authorities. And your parents will not be here to protect you. What am I supposed to do then? <laughs> okay. Once you're done solving all you have in the bracket, you take this X and bring it here, okay? Then your first answer will be our new equation, okay? Yes. Then you work it out like this, plus this one plus this, your answer minus this. What are you doing? Nothing. Can't see. You're rubbing my tie. <sighs> Patents. Don't you like it? It's distracting me now. Distraction is very good sometimes. It helps calm your nerves. Stop! Ah! <sighs> hey, what's up with you now, guy? What's up with me? Let's focus on the assignment that brought you here. <laughs> I'm beginning to suspect you, Martins. I'm beginning to suspect you. Over what? Martins. Just... What is this one? Who? Leave me alone now. Is it my force? Is it my force? Eh? Excuse me. Excuse me, Joe. Martins. Please. Is it my force? Just for peace, Martins. You eat it, Martins. And I can lie, it always done me. And it wasn't to me, my dream for feel. Ah, even if we fight, it always got me down. They feel alright, cause you never can cheat. You've been always so for that. How can you go and ask the poor girl for more money? Because I can. Look, that girl is not a rich kid. Okay? Myself and some of her friends helped put the first 50k together. So I'm sure putting the hundred k together shouldn't be a hard thing for you guys. Oh, God, be reasonable. Uh -uh. But you how far now? You see, I like that. I should be reasonable, right? So I'm going to be reasonable, okay? See, I don't want the hundred k again. I want something else. You can't want anything else. She already gave you 50k for crying out loud. That doesn't match her crime. And the only reason I've not had that girl beaten stark naked on this campus is because of you. <laughs> stark naked. <laughs> Okay, what else do you want? Now you're talking. You see, uh, from the first time I set my eyes on this girl, there was uh, this kind of attraction. So I would, uh, you know what I'm saying, like to satisfy my curiosity. What does that even mean? <laughs> see, I want this girl to spend the night with me, and all her sins will be forgiven. Are you listening to yourself, by you? Are you, are, are you listening to yourself? You harassed the girl. She reacted. I, yet I, convinced her to pay you 50k for peace sake. Yeah, then convince her to spend the night with me. That is not going to happen. See, bro, don't be selfish, okay? We know this is one of the girls you pimp out. Look, she's not that type of girl. And she's not going to even do what you're asking. See, I don't care, okay? But you have to convince this girl. This girl disrespected me on this campus in front of everybody. She thinks that she's above my standard. But I have to prove her wrong, and I need your help in doing that. I should have known you're unreasonable. <laughs> Are you trying to make this fight yours? Brother, let me tell you, this is not good for your health. Don't push it by you. Go and pick on someone else your own size. Ah, uh -uh. that you know. What is wrong with you, Flex? You other people should know better than getting into a fight with Bayou. He put his hand on me first. I don't understand this freedom fighter spirit that has possessed you of little. What's that supposed to mean? Uh, that was how you carried Cassandra's issue with Mr. Zack on your head. Now it's Nancy. 
came to ask for my help. Eh, as a superhero that you are, savior of the universe. Come in! Hi, Nancy. What happened to you? He got into a fight with Bayou because of you. He was being unreasonable. He put his hand on me first, I had to defend myself. No, you see, it wasn't my fault, I slapped him. That guy sure knows how to push one to the extreme. Can I see? See you now. Sorry. Is it that bad? I hope you're enjoying it. I know you look beautiful when you're watching it. <laughs> Hi, Cassie. Hi. Hi. <clears throat> um, Uriel, can I speak with you for a second? Now? Yes, now. Okay. Lawrence, just post it. I'll be right back. All right. Why do you have a guy in our room? He's my guest. I know, but you can entertain him in the living room. The bedroom is way more conducive to watch movies. Uriel, you have roommates. Okay, I want to change now. How am I supposed to do that? You can use the bathroom. Don't be ridiculous, Uriel. Get that guy out of that room, now. Cassandra, he's in my bed, not yours. I need to get back to my movie. Girl is lucky I am trying to change. You need to speak with Uriel. What's up? I came back, went into the room, and then I saw Uriel watching a movie with a guy in our bedroom. And I asked her, please, would you take your guest to the living room? And she said no. Where is she now? She's in the room. And that girl is very lucky that I'm trying to be a better person. If not, I would have smashed that laptop and I would have kicked the both of them the hell out of that room. <laughs> Hi, Nancy. Hi, Lawrence. You need to go. What do you mean by he got to go? This is girl's bedroom. I need to change. I can't do that while he's here. You can go use the bathroom or maybe the living room. Okay. Guy, bounce. What's the meaning of this now, Nancy? It's fine, bro. I'll go. See you later, okay? Nancy. What? What you did was totally wrong, Nancy. I will never disrespect your guest like that. And I will never bring a male guest into our bedroom. What is wrong with your brain? That was the same person that gave you 20,000 naira to settle your Bayou issue. She doesn't give him the right to invade our privacy. Don't mind her. <laughs> so, the both of you want to... You, both of you are ganging up against me, Abby. Nobody is ganging up against you, okay? What is wrong is wrong. Mm -hmm. You messed up. And don't try it again. like how? Do you know how much trouble you have brought upon yourself fighting by you? Yeah, they're coming. 
You know, I thought I was the one you cared this much about. I mean, seeing what you did for me with Mr. Zach. But apparently I was wrong. What are you saying? I'm asking what sort of relationship exists between you and Nancy. <sighs> She's just my friend. The same kind of friendship we share? Look, Cassia, please, I'm not in the mood for this. Your 21 questions are big. We have to define what we have, Flex. I already see us as an item. But I need to be sure it's not just me. It's not just you. Okay? Look. <sighs> I feel a connection to you as well. All right? Clothes are really fine. Yeah, I know. <laughs> My mom just sent them over with a new phone. Are you serious? Mm -hmm. Let me see. Let me see, let me see, let me see. <laughs> wow. Huh. And then look at these skirts. Dash me now. Dash me some of them, please. Because I am Mother Christmas or what? Oh, wow. Am I not your friend again? Hey, let me wear them for a few months, then you can have them. <laughs> eh? Waka. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not serious. Wow, this is nice. I know. Wait a minute. Real? You brought Gina to the bedroom and I'm not raising the roof. If it were me, you and Cassandra would start third world war. You are you foolish? Gina is a girl like us. Whatever. I'm going out and I'm not coming back today. Not so fast, Auntie. Where are you going that you won't be returning today? Lawrence's place. And you'll be sleeping over at his place? Yes. Are you sure that's a good idea, Euro? Would you rather invite him over so that you and Cassandra can chase him out of the house again? Uh, um, before you go, I have something for you. Could you take Get your mind out of the gutters. It's not needed. You are going over to sleep at a guy's place. <laughs> He's already imagining several sex positions with you. Lawrence is not like that. Oh, okay. I beg, just take it. Just take it. I don't want it. Bye. Bye. Why are you carrying condoms in your bag? Just leave me alone. I beg. Let's continue with our game. Gina. Mr. Max. Continue, Joe. Just continue. Have you gone to market? Uh-uh. Since. What is it? I've been calling Jurel for two days now. She didn't pick my call. And now her phone is switched off. <laughs> Why would she take your calls when mid semester tests are over and she doesn't have any excitement that she will need you to help her on yet? What is that supposed to mean? I'm just saying it as it is, bro. I was supposed to help her write her mass related courses. I ended up writing all her 12 courses. What? Why would you agree to such? I was just thinking about it now. Just such a stupid thing to do. Untula. Little job to do. Use all your head.
she touch me to sing song. Why are you hiding your bottle of alcohol? I know you drink. It's not alcohol. So, what was it? Nothing. Cassandra, it's all we're friends now. It was nothing, okay? I was just reading something. What? I'm curious to know what it is, please. Okay, but promise me you're not going to ask me uncomfortable questions. I promise. That's the Bible. Why don't you want me to know you've been reading the Bible? It's a good thing. Oh, I didn't like Oriel's reaction when she saw me with the Bible. It was like she saw a devil reading the Bible. Well, I'm surprised too, but it's not a bad thing. You should be proud of it. Hmm. Yes. <laughs> Thanks. Who is it? Who is there? Oh, hi, Martin. Hello, Nancy. Mm. Uh, where's Yura? She's not home. I've been trying to reach her on the phone to no avail. Um, she travelled home to see her parents. Oh. Yeah. She didn't tell me. Uh, it was impromptu. Her, her mom was really sick and she, she, she had to go see them. It was really serious. See, um, do you have any idea when she'll be back? Today. Yeah. Uh, no, maybe tomorrow. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I'll send her a text then. Do that. All right. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Bye.